How to get historical data in Excel using Dariscope. Task 1. Get the daily prices of the Microsoft stock over the last year. Dariscope works with formulas. Use the Dairy Live ribbon to paste the correct formula. Start by selecting the cell where you want the formulas to appear. You will need this ribbon section that lists the supported providers. Click here. Choose Paste Historical Data for one symbol, and then OK. This is the formula that defines what type of historical data are requested. It takes one argument. The range, A2, B17. This whole part only sets up the definition. It fetches no data from the Yahoo server. The data are fetched by the array function here. Which takes one input the cell, A1, which contains the definition. Task 2. Change the interval from daily to monthly. Select the interval cell and click this button. Then select, month, from the drop-down. Hash N, A appear because the output data are not enough to fill the output range. You may resize the formula array by selecting any cell inside it. And then clicking on this button. You may prefer to collect all data in memory and only display a handle name on the spreadsheet. Simply set output as object equals true. The old array formula must be refreshed so that it returns one single cell. Select any cell inside the array formula. And then click this button. Now all data are kept in memory. They can be displayed in the wizard by selecting the cell with the handle name. They can even be exported as a text file by clicking on the Go button. Let's revert the settings to what we had before. Task 3. Display only the close column. Set, columns, equals, include. This setting produced errors. Select the error cell, A1, and read the message in the wizard. The easiest resolution is to click on the word, here, and then set your desired input straight in the wizard. Click here to display all input parameters. Change the interval from, day, to, month. Scroll down. Uncheck the, output as object. Change the columns from all to include. Set the column list to two to include only the second column. Note the leftmost date column doesn't count because it is always displayed. So the close column is considered to be the second column. Click here to hide all non-modified optional parameters. Delete the old spreadsheet stuff. And click on go to paste the correct formula at cell A1. Done. Now the array formula returns only the close column. As usual, get rid of the hash n a by clicking on refresh output range. Task 4. Get the historical data of both Microsoft and Google. Select a new sheet. Click here. Choose paste historical data for many symbols. Click OK. Minimize the wizard to increase the viewing area. As you see, the Microsoft and Google historical data are displayed side by side. They occupy 255 rows. Note, the Google price is around 1000, while the Microsoft price is around 100. This makes their comparison hard. It would be nice if they were rescaled so that they can be compared against each other. Set, rescale values, equals, true, to rescale them so that they both start as 100. 
Let's see what happened to our displayed data. Indeed, all values have been rescaled so that they start with 100. Task 5. Get a time series of technical indicators. Select a new sheet. Currently, only Alpha Vantage supplies technical indicators. Click here. And choose Paste Historical Technical Indicators for one symbol. Click OK. By default, the wizard generates the Emma function, which represents the exponential moving average indicator. You may choose any other function by clicking on this cell. Let's choose MOM for the momentum indicator. At the wizard's bottom, you can read the description of the selected indicator that includes web links. A few functions, such as the stoke, require more complex input and therefore are better created within the wizard, as follows. First select the cell with the handle name. Then select an empty cell, where the function can be pasted by the wizard. Select the histav type in the type selector of the wizard. Enlarge the info area at the bottom so that descriptions may be viewed. These are all the technical indicators supported by Alpha Vantage. Choose the stoke. Browse through the input required by stoke. You see the special input parameters. Fast period, slow period, etc. and their descriptions at the bottom. You may change a setting as shown here. And when ready, click on Go to paste the formula in the spreadsheet. Now select any cell in the output range. And click this ribbon button to link the formula to the new handle. Select the cell with the new handle name. And the cell where the new formula should be pasted. Done. If you prefer, set output as object equals false. So that the feeds appear on the spreadsheet. Finally you must click on Refresh Output Range to resize the array formula. Check out the following videos for more information on Dariscope Live Feeds.